Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Ascott and today I have something so fun in store for you guys today. So I'm going to try to keep this video as short as I normally do, but I'll see what I can do. First things first, I am going to be using a 30 ounce white sublimation tumbler from AB Designs. So you always really want to sand these down really, really well and remove the gloss. You don't have to get it down to the stainless steel, take off the shiny and you're ready to go. After you've sanded, make sure you wash it and use alcohol just to make sure you have all the debris removed. We're going to go ahead and spray paint this the vintage lace from color shot and i'm going to be using this gorgeous gorgeous diamond cut glitter from ab designs so i'm going to go ahead and spray paint my tumbler as i normally do and go straight into glittering now i have noticed that unlike rust-oleum this color shot dries super super fast so once I have this first application of glitter applied to the tumbler, I have to go right back in immediately with clear seal from Rust-Oleum, spray the tumbler really, really well, and then simply reapply the glitter. After the second coat of glitter, if need be, allow this to completely dry, and then you can seal it again with the clear seal from Rust-Oleum. Allow that to completely dry before moving on to your first coat of epoxy. So for my first coat of epoxy, I'm going to be using the Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. I waited about three to four hours before applying a second coat, which I did do off camera. As with any peekaboos, it's super important to make sure that your tumbler is very, very smooth. So once you've applied the necessary amounts of epoxy coats, it's now time to go ahead and sand this surface. It's going to be okay because we're going to go ahead and place our decals after we have sanded this and washed it and made sure everything was nice and clean. So the most important part is making sure that you have plenty of coats of epoxy so that one, you're not going to disrupt the glitter up underneath, but two, when you go to spray paint, if this is not a smooth surface, you will see every lump, every dimple, every mishap right up underneath that paint. So once we've gotten this nice and sanded down, we're going to make sure that we give it a nice little bath and use some acetone just to make sure we don't have any bits of remaining sanding left behind or any debris that's going to be in the way. Now we can start getting to the fun part. So I'm just going to be using some Cricut removable vinyl that I had left over from my stash and I'm going to use these for my honeycombs so that when I spray paint, one, I'll be able to find them very easily and two, they pull up super easily. So here I'm just going to kind of place them throughout the tumbler wherever I think it makes sense. There's no rhyme or reason, it's entirely up to you. So once you have your decals placed where you want them, it's now time to go ahead and spray paint. So I'm choosing Island Girl from Color Shot. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you that. So I've, this has already been spray painted and obviously dried. And now I'm using the Tacket method to apply the blue foil that looks absolutely amazing. As you can see, I'm kind of running right over my decals because I kind of wanted to make it look like it's going to end up being behind them, just giving my tumbler some serious dimension. So I'm just going to be using a very cheap and expensive makeup brush to go ahead and apply the tacket. I'm going to allow this to get tacky, not completely dry, but you want it to go clear and then we can start going ahead and applying the foils. I only wanted this to be an accent. I didn't want it to overwhelm the tumbler, so I only did so many sections. But again, you can do as many or as little as you'd prefer. Once your tacket has gone clear, you can now place the foil strip right over the top. I'm going to use the velvet side of my squeegee in order to help press this down and really get it to adhere to the tumbler. Once you feel pretty comfortable about the transfer, go ahead and very carefully remove the foil. Repeat these steps until you are satisfied with the look of your tumbler. I really hope that you're enjoying this video so far and if so, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon. Thank you. 
Once you've applied all the foils that you desire, we're now going to go ahead and use our weeding pen to pull up our decals. Continue this step, making sure you've removed all of your decals for your peekaboo. So now that we've removed all of the decals for our peekaboo, it's safe to go ahead and epoxy the tumbler, as we would not want to risk damaging the foil and or our paint. And again, for this coat of epoxy, I am going to be using the Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. Be sure to allow this to fully cure before moving on, and don't forget to use the torch to pop any bubbles you may or may not be able to see. So once you've fully cured, now we can go ahead and place our offset. So I'm using holographic teal from Tech Wrap Craft Vinyl. I will make sure that I have this link and all the others down in the description for you below. For my honeycomb offset, I plan to apply all of the large bundles of honeycombs first. Then I will go back through and single-handedly place the smaller groups. Once I've had all of my offsets placed, I'm going to go ahead and use the new white ink vinyl from AB Designs. This is an incredible, beautiful floral print. All of her white inks, whether they're decals or they're 12 by 12 sheets, will all be marked with a red dot. So you'll be able to tell the difference between the white inks and the clear cast decals. I'm going to cut these out individually and then I can start placing them randomly all over the tumbler. Okay, I've been doing this for a very long time and this is probably the prettiest thing I have ever, ever seen. I've got the foils, I've got the peekaboos, I've got the white ink decals. Like, I am literally over the moon right now. Let me know what you think down in the comments so far of how this tumbler is coming along. These decals, whether they're on the decal sheets, three and a half by three and a half, or they're off the 12 by 12 vinyl sheets, they are still absolutely amazing and so easy to work with. So when doing the hinge method, once you place the section onto the tumbler, you're literally just gonna take your squeegee and guide the backing off. It is so stinking easy, guys. And just use your soft velvet side of the squeegee and just rub everything down nice and smoothly. If you have any white air pockets underneath this decal, you will see it once you epoxy. So now I really wanted to point out, if you may or may not have noticed, I started to apply all of my decals before applying another coat of epoxy and so i really wanted you to see this lumpy bumpy underneath my bumblebee but i promise you when i tell you that epoxy is so forgiving i will prove it to you in this video if you feel more comfortable after you've applied your offset then you can absolutely go ahead and apply another thin coat of epoxy before moving on to your decal phase. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and continue to place all of my decals throughout the tumbler. Once you have all of your decals in place, this does not need to be sealed and is now ready for another coat of epoxy. So for this next coat of epoxy, I'm going to add in snow caps additive into my epoxy, but just a teeny tiny amount just to give this tumbler a little bit of sparkle. 
This tumbler will need one more coat of epoxy, so if I didn't add enough, I will then add it into the next coat. For this coat of epoxy, I am going to be using Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. I want to thank you so much for tuning in on this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Be sure to check out the end video where I'm going to show you the close-up of my bumblebee that I showed you earlier in the video to show you just how forgiving epoxy can really be. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you on the next tutorial. But I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls Cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off From the rest of the room I know that time can heal it all If you're patient and soon It can all be worth it All the searching Pain is never really permanent But damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence And it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please, you're all too loud You don't speak quietly, opinions violently Thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds, we put the work in, we got some work, man It's never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all I just gotta get through I just gotta get through I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off Find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop If it's controlling you